Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server using PocketMine on Android. So this works between the Android versions of 2.3 and 4.4.2 and up. So once you know the next version comes out, that'll work also. But yeah, those versions work on both phones and tablets. I'm using a tablet, the Nexus 7 2013 right now, but it also works on my phone. And the tablet I had before this one, an old crappy tablet, so that just proves right there that it works <laughs> on anything. So, what you're going to need to do is go down in the description, and there's a link to the, well, it's an AdFly link, but it'll take you to the Play Store where you can download the Pocket Mind app. So, I'm using Pocket the, or I'm using the Play Store this time to do it because it'll, you'll get the latest, the latest updates and be notified about it. But if you guys really want a APK instead. I can put an APK down there too. I'll just have to see if I get enough requests for it. So I'm going to open up the Pocket Mine app, and it's going to ask you what version you want to install. Mine doesn't because you know. Let's see. There we go. When you open it up, it'll look like this. So hit the little drop down here, and you're going to want to get get 1.3.12. You can't get the development version. That is a uh, not fully released, kind of like a beta, basically. That they're not really finished with, but it's or it's going to be buggy and everything, but it works fine, I think. They say there's just more bugs. So now I got the latest version installed, and it's going to ask you to go through all of your settings and everything. Like it'll look like that. So just it'll make it the way you want your server. Your server port, don't change that. The server name, I've made mine damn. Um, server description, that doesn't really matter. It's not like anybody's going to ever see it unless they're on here with Wi-Fi. Other than that, you can't, they can't even see the server name. It's it's dumb the way Mojang has it set up right now. Even though the pocket mine isn't Mojang, but they allow it. it it's confusing. All right. Game mode, creative, adventure, spectator, or survival. I go with survival. Allow use of fly and survival mods by default people will get kicked for using fly and survival but i turn it on because i think it's a lot better to have because i like flying and survival and i'm sure everybody does difficulty you know if you if you, if you play minecraft before you know all of this stuff maximum players at once i have 20 set right now that that's a default but if you're if it starts you know make your phone lag or something you can make it down to 10 maybe even five if you need to I just, diff I just didn't change it. I, I don't usually host on here. I was actually making a video, making the video before, and I had to restart because I messed it up. So that's why I have all the settings in here. Forgot about that. Anyway, whitelist. That is, if you put in certain people's usernames, then they can join, and then the people who aren't added can't join. I'm going to have it disabled for now. So I'm going to go with save. And now the server is almost almost damn ready to run so what you're gonna need to get, need to do is the part I hate recording about the most is port forwarding so port forwarding will allow people to actually join the server because it's a closed port right now meaning people actually can't actually access it the IP address and every the port that they use is actually is just closed and I'm trying to keep it simple as can be it's closed so basically the connection is blocked off, but you can go and open it through your router settings. And the reason I hate recording this part is because people's router settings are always different. Passwords and everything are different than my own. So I have a Netgear WNDR500 or something like that. That's the model and everything I have. So what I would do is I would go in my browser and I would search how to port forward the Netgear WNDR500. You would go and say how to port forward, insert brand model name whatever so that's the way you would have to do it because our routers are different but would be what will oh what would be the same is the way to get into the settings so you type in 192.168.1.1 and hit go now mine's automatically going to sign in but it's going to ask you for a username and password which if you haven't changed they will be on the back of the router it's not your normal login 
and password that you'd use to actually use the Wi-Fi. This is actually completely different. So that'll be on your router itself. So then you'd have to go and port forward like that. And once you've done that, you can finally go you can finally go back into your app here and hit start server. And it should start. And son of a did this to me last time. I'd record on the PC server, it wouldn't start. But it well, it started like it, it's I got it to work yesterday, right? And now starting so I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this video if you guys have, have if you guys see this problem I'm gonna try to work on it and come up with a solution for it so whatever we have to deal with it for now <laughs> damn I didn't want to I wanted to finally work this time because the PC version didn't work either even though I have the server running right now <sighs> man hate that crap anyways Hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah.